Apparently, Katy Perry is the reason you became a pop star. Mm. So I just messaged her right now. Hi, Katy Perry. It's Katy Bezer. I just want to message you because um, you were the first ever gig that I went to and you're the reason why I started singing and I think we should totally be friends and maybe make a song together. Love you. What if this happens? Hello, I'm Fern Brady and this is What A Combo, the food podcast where guests share some delicious, some strange and some, frankly, disgusting food combinations. Each week they pick their snacking combo, a wild combo and finally I share with them the twisted combo, a dish put together by our twisted food scientists. By the way, if you're listening to the show, did you know you can also watch us over on YouTube? Head over to Twisted's YouTube page and you'll find us there. And if you're watching already, hello, this is my face and voice. Right, <laughs> today's guest, if you combined a wardrobe that a Y2K pop star would be jealous of, a wit sharper than a brand new sushi knife, a few spoonfuls of dating drama, a fridge full of Philadelphia cream cheese and a garnish of gorgeous vocals, is Katie Baser. Oh my God. Did you like that intro? What an intro. I want that every time. That's amazing. You do look amazing though. Sorry, that's like the fifth time I've said that no, since you've come into the building. Thank you so much. I feel sensitive today, so thank you. Uh, I need we've, that. Well, we've both been at the same festival this <sighs> weekend. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, but you, I got home on Saturday and you got in at four this morning. Yeah. But you're so, <laughs> you look so fresh. Thank you. What is the snack and combo that you've brought in for us today? I've heard it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, ready? Okay. Oh, well, this is all right. This is Chips what you just... and dip. And this looks like fancy guacamole because I don't always like it if it's... Mm. A lot of the shop-bought ones are minging. This is like a proper Like, how could one. something so simple be so amazing? Mmm. Would you say generally you're into food? Yeah, I love food so much. I can't cook, though. I'm a terrible, terrible cook. Why? I can't cook anything. Why? Because I just can't. <laughs> I lose a t- like I lose interest in like reading recipes. Like well, I could, yeah, I, I, I mean, can you read. You don't need to read them at night like a book. No, you I know. Can just, uh, just follow it. It's just some instruction. I know, but I just I can't. I don't know. I move around a lot. I'm busy, you know. Mm. And like cooking is just something that I don't really think of. I just kind of go out for dinner all the time, which is I don't know. I and don't when know. when would you eat this? Is this like the main um, all the time? Is this, is it in your rider? Yeah, it your is. Gigs? It, it is. is. It really is. I need to get one of them, man. I just have water. And what I'm do so you have with them? Um, my rides are. Um, I'm a bit like um, a sort of Scottish Gwyneth Paltrow. I would just have some bits of vegetables and fruit. I eat like a little monkey, so I would just have some berries and stuff. Um, some hummus, maybe some dip. Yeah, yeah. You've been really busy over the course of the year. Yeah, this time last year, I, I did my first ever show, mm-hmm. and it was to 150 people. And then fast forward to April that I did a whole tour. Wild. So much fun. By the end of it, I, I, I lost so many things on tour. Mm, mm, mm. Dignity, everything. <laughs> <laughs> what do, do you eat? I eat really badly on tour. Oh, I eat terribly. Not even just, well, no, I do eat loads of Deliveroo. I wish I could ban myself off Deliveroo like I a know. gambler. Why do they give it to us, all these options? I know. Like, why, why would they set us up for failure like that, you know? And so many towns, I don't know if you've noticed this on tour, but the rest of the UK has really upped its food game. Mm. Uh, so, so many towns have got better and better options. Oh my God, is that is that the devil's food? Is that coriander? Oh, have you got that thing with coriander? I, I do you Does it taste, it? no, no. It tastes like so. Yeah, I used to think people that were saying that were uh, liars, but I, I found mean, out it's a whole section It's a of whole you. thing. I remember being yeah. like eight years old and going to a really nice restaurant and ordering like this like... I don't even know what it was. But I was like, Mum, I can't eat it. It tastes like soap. And she Ever? was like, she was like, eat it. It was expert dev. So I ate it. But I was saying it tastes like soap and she was going, what are you on about? Is there anything else that you would absolutely not eat? Um, beetroot. I fucking hate beetroot. I fucking hate beetroot. To me, it's like eating a human heart. Is that weird? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. A human <laughs> heart. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God, even, like, the thought of it, like, it actually creeps me out. I hate it, and I hate it. It pops up in fancy restaurants a lot more. I I hate the texture. I hate the look of it. I hate the smell of it. It doesn't taste good. It's horrid. They put it in cakes and all sorts. And, like, juices. How dare you like that? It's so disgusting. It's so, so bad. It it turns your pee pink as well. Does it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, now you're like, Well, now I want to try it. Yeah, because it would... 
It would suit the aesthetic. <laughs> that made no sense. Why did I say that? I'm so sorry. Um, some of your songs, by the way, give a good insight. Oh, this is a real crossover with my material. Some of your songs have an insight into relationship nightmares. Uh-huh. But has anyone ever won you over with their cooking ability, given you can't cook? <laughs> well, it's pretty essential. If, if I can't cook, I'm like, well, mm. one of us has to. And so everyone that I've ever like had a thing with has been a really, really good cook. So well, I think it's like, I have the personality and you could just kick. Mm. Um, have you had any awful dinner dates? I would rather not go for dinner with oh, someone if it's a first date. I cannot do dinner. Like, I have this thing now when I go, people ask me on dates and I like, really want to go out with them. And I'm like, oh, what a great time. But it will come mm. to the day and I'll be like, no, I can't do it. I can't. What? Like a dinner date genuinely makes me want to throw up in my mouth. I hate it. Because like, it's what embarrassing do, what do we, to eat. No, but like, what do we, what is this? An interview? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't. So what would you do for a first date instead? I'd like to be in a big group with my friends and then we all just go out together and have a really funny time. You go with all your friends? Yeah. And the, my ideal situation and is I'm in a big group and then someone yeah. within the group is like, Katie, and I'm like, yes. And then we all go out together and then we have a thing and then, then we just, you know, and then, then we can go on a dinner date after we've had a few oh. things in a big group. Because I just can't, oh, I don't know. There's nowhere to hide on a dinner date. Oh, that's very formal. Do you know what that's I mean? almost quite old fashioned. Thank you. Doing it that way. Um, Am I romantic? That I'd be more funny about, I wouldn't eat spaghetti on a first date. Mm-mm. Because um, I eat it in a really undignified way. Me too. And, One of these ones. Yeah. And I also pretend that... Um, that uh, almost that I have issues with food on first dates because I want the man to think that I don't really eat. So when I first met my boyfriend, <laughs> I got this pizza at Pizza Express that's like a diet women's pizza and it has a hole cut in the middle. <laughs> so it's got less calories and it just has spinach on it. What? He, I know, it's psychotic. And he still takes the piss out of me for it because he was like, why did you order that special pizza? ladies pizza? That's terrifying. But a lot of people are like that about eating on first really? dates. Are there any food X or food combos that, like if I see someone eating patty with their mouth open, it makes me want to immediately be sick. Or just eating patty at all. Do you like patty? I think it's, uh, no, I don't like creamed animal organs. It's like the worst You food. keep saying these things that are really just like, ooh. I know. Scratching my brain in like a terrible oh, way. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I just Do you want to get time. the. I gave you a foam pineapple earlier to calm you down. Just squeeze that when I say it. What did you say? Blended them. animal organs. Is that not what pate is? It totally is. And they had to But they just dress it, it up with pate. <sighs> it's like putting glitter on a shit. Do you know what I mean? Well, if a man was eating that and I saw it, oh. I would have to get really far away from them. Do you have anything similar? Is there any food that you'd think it would be embarrassing if you saw someone eating that on a date? I got, I love everything. I love every sort of food. Except for coriander <laughs> and beetroot. Like, there's nothing you could eat in front of me that I'd be like, what are you doing? Mm, except for Marmite. Marmite's disgusting. Marmite Twiglets. on toast. Disgusting. Well, Twiglets would be a bit strange if your date was eating them because they're from the 1980s, I think. And <laughs> no one, does anyone eat them anymore? I don't think so. What about... I remember guy... buying them once because I thought I liked the name of it and I was like, that's a cool name. And then I ate them and was like, <clears throat> disgusting. Yeah, I don't even know what flavour they are. What if a guy was eating um, a smelly egg sandwich that had been sitting in uh. a... In a little lunchbox on the bus. Terrible. Like a marinated sandwich. Disgusting. Yeah. Right. We've got to rate your snack. Or I'm going to give your snack a rating. Um, thank you for bringing in these very fancy crisps. I've got this on my hand. I'm so sorry. That's quite undignified that I did that. Thank you for bringing in these fancy crisps. They feel like a cut above the normal crisps. <laughs> But chips in a dip are quite, uh, they're actually quite a standard thing for people to bring in on water combo. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's right in the middle for right. me. I'm cool Thanks. with that. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Slay. Slay. Welcome back to Water Combo with me, Fern Brady. It's wild combo time. Katie, apparently this is your guilty pleasure. It's a weird combo of foods that others might judge you for. Uh, it says on the cards, I promise not to. I will judge you. But everyone judges it. me whenever they say, like, what do you want? And I, I will yeah. always say this. Okay, I Which can smell is. it already. <laughs> right, it's... let me try and describe it. 
first. It's some penny pasta with creamy looking sauce on it, green bits, and the thing that's disturbing me is the little brown slivers. What is this? What are these? Chorizo and like salami. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, my chorizo's vegetarian. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> You're vegetarian. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Oh Lol. no, I'm just, I just have no table manners. <laughs> That's okay. But the sauce, do you know what the sauce is? Have some. Um, cream flavour? It's Philadelphia. Hmm. Everyone always, mine never looks like this, to be fair. Mine does look questionable every time I make it. Because I can't cook, but. Hey, now I've had a mouthful of it. Philadelphia and pasta and like chorizo and all sorts of things is my favourite ever meal. Now I've had a mouthful of it. It's all right. Mm. Do you, can I ask, I mean, I think I know the answer to this because you said you don't like cooking. <laughs> when you cook this, before you put the Philadelphia mm. in, do you keep aside like a little bit of pasta water to mix it in? Mm. You do? I do. So you, you can be a good cook. I could be, but I could also be a really good, like, painter. <laughs> but I just can't be asked. You're just not going to do it. No. Apparently Katy Perry's the reason you became a pop star. Mm. That's cool. I see it in the... you got the same amazing aesthetic. <laughs> Thanks. Um, have you ever tried to slide into her DMs now that you're getting bigger? I mean, oh my God, imagine like a Katy times Katy mm. collaboration. So I just message her right now. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God. Hello, Katy Perry. It's Katy Beza. Okay. So I just, I just go with the flow, see what happens. Yeah, if you do it, what if she actually does get back to you? Well, then it'll be a dream come true. Okay. Yeah, Best voice, friends voice noter. Voice okay. noter. Hi, Katy Perry. It's Katy Beza. I just want to message you because um, you were the first ever gig that I went to, and you're the reason why I started singing. And I think we should totally be friends and maybe make a song together. And maybe have a dinner, get our nails done. Cool. Love you. What if this happens? What if Orlando Bloom? I feel like I could have done oh, so Orlando what? Swoon. Am I right? <laughs> oh my god! But what if? What if she's like, oh, okay, but sorry, I don't know her. And then Orlando Bloom's like, I know her. I actually watch her stuff, and I'm obsessed with her. That could be what happens. I would be into that. I'm obviously enjoying this because I'm just talking well eating. This please. is fucking amazing. I'm sorry. Is this something that your mom used to make for you when you were little or something? My grandma used to make it for me. I knew it was some sort of childhood thing because it's all right, but from how much you love it, I knew there's some like emotional connection to it's, it. I, it is an attachment. It's amazing. It's like every time I have it, I'm like back in her house. Mm. I'm like four years old and she used to get like animal shaped pasta mm. and then would make it look all amazing. And we'd put like the whole tub of Philadelphia in it and I would just be like, oh, oh my God. Stunning. Have you ever tried to make a fancy version of it or are you attached to this one? I'm attached. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with me. Um, you've played all over the country now. Mm -hmm. Which city or festival had the best food? Glastonbury. Oh, yeah, of course. What did you? What was the nicest <laughs> thing you ate there? <laughs> festival food's really posh now. I, I was literally steaming. I was mm -hmm. so drunk. And I was walking around this festival going, I need food, I need food, like a zombie. And there was like a whole crowd, because I think Arctic Monkeys had just been on, like everyone was like swarming to another stage. And I see this steak pie stand. I was like, pie, oh my God, <laughs> pie. And then I get this like massive steak pie, loads of gravy, and I sit on the floor like a child, like cross-legged just with my pie, just like, uh, and then I went and got another one. I had two steak pies. Have you ever worried about um, being drunk at a festival and your audience seeing you and judging you? No, I feel like I'm. I just I'm a very open book anyway. <laughs> oh, that's good. Like if I'm steaming, I will put it on my story anyway and be like, I'm steaming. Ah, oh, I good. think it's fine. That's good. Um, do you think <laughs> Katy Perry would be the same? Mm, she's a crazy girl. She would. You think she'd eat a pie in a field? Yeah, with me. Slavered and drunk. She can be. I. We can eat pie together, Katy, if you want. Uh, this is it. weird. On your Spotify, it says you can balance spoons on your face, but your face doesn't look very flat to me. Um, it doesn't look like... <laughs> so, but, <laughs> basically, when I read this, I thought some big moon-faced, flat-faced girl was going to turn up, but you've got a totally normal face. Thank you. So 
can you show me how you do this? There's no. some spoons there. It's been all, like, I tried to do this yesterday, but it didn't work. Because I had all the makeup on and all the sweat on my face. If you just do it on your nose, I'll be disappointed. Are you going to do it on the apples of your cheeks? If this doesn't work, I'm going to be really upset. I have a face like a planet. I have such an embarrassingly large face. So it should work really well. No, I do. All my family have large heads. My brother had to have like specially made glasses at the opticians when he was a child because his head was so big. Oh, I've got um I just if you're just listening and not watching, uh Katie and me are both putting spoons on our faces. It's not working. Maybe I should take it out my thing. Maybe I'm not <laughs> Look! Yes! That's it. Oh, I got really worried I had spinach in my teeth there, which is the normal worry to have when you have spoons on your cheeks. Oh, do you know your song, um, mm. Your Dad's a Dill? Mm. Uh, I want to get your opinion on whether the following chefs meet the Delph criteria or not. Okay, first one, Gino DeCampo. Delph. Paul Hollywood. <gasps> Delph. Are you joking? No, I think he's such a Delph. Um, he kind of creeps me out, though, a little bit. But like, uh, Delph. Uh, this one's disgusting. Greg Wallace. Who is that? Who is that? Um, that's a fair question. He's on uh, Celebrity MasterChef. He's on MasterChef. He's on all MasterChefs. He's a chef um, who lost some weight and is proud of it. Oh, sure, Queen. I like the, the start. It sounds like you're being polite. Um, I would say no. Like, look at his tattoos. Mm, yeah, good. What is it? Good choice. A I lion. Think it's a, I think it's a Millwall tattoo. A who? Yeah. A what? Uh, Millwall. They're a football team oh. uh, associated with Thuggery. Um, Ainsley Harriet. No. In fairness, um, he is holding a big um, fish next to his face. This fish? I like the colour of it. It's red. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Nigella. Is she the one that's like the 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 sexual one? Who's who's like the sexual kick? Microwave. Yes. Is that her? Yeah. She's the microwave one. Yeah. That is her. Yeah. Oh my god, Slay! I love her. She's iconic. Yeah, she is. <laughs> is she? Is she the? Is the she sexual the microwave one? one? Is she the sexual one? Yeah. <laughs> she just has one name, like Madonna. I, I love her. I think she's iconic. I know she's amazing. Slay. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Delph. I literally would marry him in an instant. Why? Well, because of this sort of. You could have a sort of submissive dumb I feel like, relationship. I feel like with he'd him. just be like, "Shut the fuck up," and I'd be like, "You shut the fuck up." And then we'd yeah. scrap, and then we'd make up, and then he'd cook me dinner. Oh, I'd be like, put a bag over your head. <laughs> You're so disgusting. Well, she's got, what? Well, anyway, I don't like him. You don't I just like have, him? Well, he's like, he keeps lying and saying he's Scottish. Really? Yeah, yeah, He's really. not Scottish. Well, he says he is. I think he was born there, but um, we took a vote on it and we rejected him. Oh, that's fair. Um, Totally fair. It's weird because I don't think I'm going to give this that many points. Why? It's because. delicious. Do you Look, know the... I've literally eaten so much of it. I'm so at... much. It tastes like home to me. So when you're ill or when you need comfort, you always want to eat the food that you ate as a child. It's so and you true. have all these emotional memories associated with it. What's your comfort food? Oh, real. Um, mm, quite boring stuff like... Um, Toast, scrambled eggs and toast. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What comfort food from what? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> toast. There's a thing called stovies. That's um, loads of potatoes and onions and chopped up sausages and bits of steak. I've never had a good veggie version. And it's a Scottish thing. And they just boil it and boil it and boil it into a mush. So there's like mushy potatoes and you put a cup of black tea into it as well uh, and beef fat. Uh, black tea? Yeah, that gives it flavour or something. Um, and it's just mush. And to me, that would be a really exciting, comforting thing to eat. But when I've given it to my boyfriend, who's not from Scotland, he was like, 
this is the worst thing I've ever had. Why, why are you giving me that slop? So it just proves all our food memories. We've all got our weird little things. Well, it's because it's all connected to comfort in your childhood and mm. stuff. This isn't that weird a combo. Do you think it's a weird combo? Everyone that I say that I have this to is like, that's disgusting. But it's just cheese and pasta, really and truly. Do you like it? Do you know what? I think the... I think the... I wouldn't be a big fan of this fake chorizo, so I think that's, like, messing it up. I mean, I've eaten an all right amount of How it. How long have you been a vegetarian for? Forever? For life? Um, for life? On and off. From when I was a little girl, but on and off. But then I started again. <clears throat> I ate meat again last year. And then just whenever you meet a pig, you just feel too bad about it. When you what? When you a, meet pig, a pig. When you meet pigs. Oh, they're just so sad. They're as intelligent as a two-year-old child. Well, some pigs are cleverer than a lot of my mates, two-year-olds, so like, I just can't I went to a farm the other day. Yeah. And I saw all the animals. Yeah. And it made me really sad. Yeah. It's really sad, but don't you just think it's like, oh, no, it is actually really sad. Well, could you kill a pig yourself? No, no, no. I can't kill anything. Uh, I don't want to turn this into a propaganda podcast, by the way. <laughs> I couldn't kill a pig. And then also, I, I'll tell you who I don't mind eating. Sheep. Sheep are idiots, man. They, I don't <laughs> know if you, I've, I've no qualms about eating sheep, but they're also my least favourite meat. My favourite meat is pigs. Mm. Uh, and they're also the one that I feel the worst about eating. And they're I used so to, sweet, aren't they? Yeah, I felt all right about chickens. And then I met these really amazing Icelandic chickens when I was in Reykjavik the they're other really week. Calm. They just had whole personalities. I played um, Bjork to them. You know the singer Bjork. Um, I played All Is Full of Love by Bjork to the chickens. What a beautiful time. They all, they all just like calmed down and stood really still and listened to the music. And I was like, how does Nando's not know it has blood on its hands? Like, <laughs> You're all mad. Fucked, man. <laughs> I want to give this a rating. But I don't want to hurt your feelings no, because your granny honestly, made it for you. It's okay. I don't mind. I've got I'm, I've got thick skin. Oh my god, I have really weak wrists. <laughs> that was really difficult to pull the jacket. Pull that. That's mad because you actually look like you have really strong hands. <laughs> look, how big, look how big look how big my hands are. <laughs> I don't know what, I have massive hands as well. Uh, yeah, you f out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> huge. They are huge. <laughs> I'll give this. I respect that you're eating it out of comfort and that you've kept Sorry. your granny, that was repulsive, and that you've kept your granny's uh, memory alive today. She could still be alive. No, she's totally not. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, let's give it four, four <laughs> deceased grannies out of five. Woo! <laughs> Hello, listener, you're back. And so am I. And so is Katie. Yeah. And this is what a combo. Uh, Katie, the time's come for me to present you with the Twisted Combo, which is usually something that uh, the Twisted Kitchen fairies have dreamed up <laughs> and they've made it to either impress us or disgust us. I feel really sensitive today. Like I could cry at any moment. It's just going to make me well, cry. Well, I feel I'm worried that you could throw up at any moment. Um, <sighs> right, let's see what it is. Ah. Is that tequila? So this is orange slices with cinnamon and tequila. And it's a dessert that's popular in Spain. You're coughing already. Oh, tequila just like... Oh, like oh, oh, really? It's the only alcohol that I'm like, I actually cannot even deal with it. Oh, mine's is real tequila. I'm not drinking just now, so you have to I'm not drink doing it. it. I can't do it. You have to. I will throw up in your face. I promise you. And well, that, a little that is sip. A, a little sip. Oh, my... Are you ready? I don't want to do it. Come on now. But I want to I want to do it, but I don't oh, want to do it. Do you want extra cinnamon? Ugh. Oh my god. Do you know what it is? I'm telling you I've had why don't you just try this cuz I Oh, had, I can I can do that. My mate had some no sort of Moroccan themed dinner and she gave us this and it was great. It's cuz anything cinnamony and sweet is like the best. Going down my face. Right, you ready? Oh. I seriously I will chanda. You won't though. I, I promise you I will. Don't, Every time I've had tequila, yeah. spew. Don't take the shot. What if um, you didn't drink it like a British person and you just had a sip and like savoured the flavours of the tequila? The savoured the flavours? Yeah, this is a, this is a fancy savor tequila. the flavour. This is it a fancy like tequila. Acid. Do you, know, do you no. enjoy tequila? 
and I, I'm not drinking at the moment. But have you um, enjoyed tequila? So I used to drink tequila as a shot, like a fucking fanny. Uh, you're supposed to sip it. That's how people in other countries do it. I sound, I sound like someone's dad. Right, quick, and have the orange. I had a sip. <coughs> That's really stopping. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not drinking. I don't know. I'm not going to be sick. <laughs> oh my God. That was a convention sicky noise. Makes my like spine tingle. Mm. Not in a cute way. Is that quote, were you sick from drinking it once before? I was fine mm -hmm. with it. And then it was my birthday. It was my 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. And my friend got me like six tequila shots. And was like, do them all in a row. And mm. I was like, yeah, fucking, yeah, well, uh, yeah. third one in, all over the bar and the barman. That's just oh. why. You know, when you like attach yourself to like a bad memory, that's what it is. And every yeah, time I like yeah. drink it, I can just taste sick. Anyway, sorry. Do you like this part mm -hmm. of it? Love. Delicious. Just kind of tastes like oranges. I can't really like. Put more cinnamon on. How would you rate this? Would you say it's like a, it's a, like it's a culinary achievement? Have I got to rate it? Or are you rating it? Or do we rate it? You rate it, but while we think about it, have another little sip of your drink. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to spit it. <laughs> Ooh, it's my face now. Is there any drink you'd rather have this with? Boozy drink. Coffee. Coffee and tequila, fine. You would have coffee with tequila. Mm -hmm. No, would makes you, have you the... spinny. I love it. <laughs> I don't think the issue is the tequila here. I think it's you drinking to the point that you get spinny. Coffee and tequila is really delicious. So you do drink tequila. Yeah, but just not on its own. It's the devil's. Taste. No, but it's not on its own. That's why we put these together and make it taste better. Like, this isn't like an, an intense enough flavour to take away from the tequila, mm. in my humble, honest opinion. Do you want more cinnamon? No, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I'd give this five out of five. I think it's great. I think it's really good. Uh, I think you're going to give it one. Yeah. One? Yeah. I mean, it's cool. But the tequila is just a really big hard no. Okay, less I, I think I'm going to have this, though, quite often. It's nice. Yeah, it's cinnamon and oranges. It. Can I take away the tequila? I think this is a great... A have it, honestly. And if, you, if you're at the end of a big meal, anyone listening, try amazing. orange slices with cinnamon over it. It's amazing. God, I'm being That's it from me and Katie last week. Have you enjoyed your combos? Mm. Have, did you enjoy the one that I made you with my heart and salt? I like the sentimental mm. touch. I thought that was nice. I thought that was good and I liked your fancy crisps and I liked watching you try not to spew um, <laughs> if you do end up trying this at home can you let me know what you thought of it on the social pages I'll see you next time bye, bye. just the charisma it's the riz is that what it's called? Riz. Charisma. Oh God, it's the Riz. So you got the Riz, girl. You have got serious Riz, though. <laughs> You've got Riz. What, me? Mm. Oh, no, no. No, you do. I'd say the opposite. You're very cool. I think the opposite. Wow. I think you're very cool. And you're oh, very, no, like, zen. It's but like... autism, uh, Katie. Uh, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> um, but can't can be misread as coolness. <laughs> mm. Riz. Mm.